let's add, let's see, I want to add in order quantity. I want to know how much of each product that we sold. Um, let's do, oh, let's do our sales tax. Remember that calculated column that we created in our Wrangler? I'm going to go ahead and use that in this virtual cube. And let's go and let's say, um, let's look at, um, let's count up our unique customers to our website. So I'm going to take the customer key field, which is really a customer key, a cookie, and I'm going to turn it into a distinct count by renaming it and choosing a distinct count as my summers, summers, summary column. So that's how we're going to aggregate it. So now I got some measures. What about dimensions? Uh, we want to be able to look at our sales data by time, by product, et cetera. For that, I'm going to go to our library. So in our library, we can reuse data sets, which now sales log has now become a reusable data set. And I can also use um, dimensions, which are also reusable. So let's pull onto our canvas our date dimensions. You can see our date dimension has two different hierarchies. It has a, a week hierarchy and a month hierarchy. I'll pull in on our product dimension. You can see it has a, a hierarchy in it for itself. Product name rolls up to category and line. Um, and then let's pull in our customer dimension. So with at scale, I can conform dimensions and reuse them across virtual cubes. This is another way we promote reuse and we promote agility and we promote consistency that you can apply and you can lock all these down and secure them any way you want. So how do we then link up these new dimensions to our raw data we see over here? Well, it's simply a, a matter of dragging and dropping and connecting up, in this case, case order date to the right part of the, uh, the, the, the date dimension object. So what do we just do? We actually created a date attributes here folder and then there's our date hierarchy. So you can see that the order date has now, has now um, uh, reflected exactly the roll up that I just connected over here on my date dimension. So it inherited that structure. And I could do the same thing, for example, for my ship date. And I'll do that. Of course, I wanna hook up my product and I'll hook up my product. Of course, if there's a key that's not a one-to-one -one match, we can of course, um, we can of course uh, create calculations and create calculated columns and then join on those keys. And it has hooked up my customer dimension. So you can see that my cube is actually building up very nicely. If I look at that customer dimension, you can see I have geography in there as well as other things. If I double click on that customer dimension, what you'll see is that it actually is its own sub model. And so you can see you can get to be really rich here in rich reuse, object oriented, and make it all very simple from the 10,000 foot view, but as complex as you want uh, deep down.